Alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a virtual machine on a computer using Microsoft Virtual PC 2007 with Service Pack 1. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go download that. Uh, I have a link over to the right of this video from Microsoft.com and this will support Windows operating systems both as the host and what you're going to run in it or the guest. So it gives you more specific details, you know, the 32-bit versus 64-bit on uh, Microsoft.com, the link over to the right. So the first thing you're going to do is download and install that. After you have that done, go ahead and open it. Here we go. Now, as you can see, I have one virtual machine at the moment, and that would be Windows Vista, and it's not running. Well, you're going to want to set one up before you can start using it. So go ahead and hit new. Now you may have this come up when you first open the virtual machine and if you hit next on that that's okay because this is what we're going to do now anyhow. So hit next, create a virtual machine, and then next. What do you want to name it? Well I would suggest you name it just for ease of if you have more than one telling them apart. I'll make another Windows Vista one. I will call it Windows Vista Home Basic. And then go ahead and click next. And it, it already found out that it's Windows Vista. As you can see, you have several server XP 2000 NT Workstation 98 and OS 2 or other operating systems you can install. And it already got Windows Vista, so that's good. And hit next. And then I would suggest you adjust the RAM. For Windows Vista, since it uses a lot of RAM, and I have 3 gig in this, I'm going to give it about a gig and a half. And then next. Now this is the hard disk you're going to use, the virtual hard disk. Well, default is an existing virtual hard disk, which you probably don't have. So go ahead and select a new virtual hard disk and click next. Here is the name of it, or in the file path, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't suggest you change that. If you want to, you can hit browse and choose another location. The hard drive, the Hard disk, virtual hard disk size. Default for me is 65 and a half gig. About. I don't want to give it that much space, so I'm going to change that 65 to 25. And then click next. And then finish. That was pretty easy. So then go back and open up the v the uh, virtual PC console. Click on the new one that you just made and hit settings over the right of that window. And here you can adjust a whole bunch of things. And the first thing we're going to want to go do is go to CD slash DVD drive. Now, default is secondary controller. You probably don't want that. So, I would uncheck that box, and now it's primary controller. That means what's built into your computer. If you check that box, then it's looking for like a USB or a serial CD DVD drive, which could be a problem. So uncheck that box. Then go over to networking. Now, I have, I guess, four network adapters on this computer that I can use, or that could be what Virtual PC 2007 can use. So I'm going to change it to two in case they want to use Ethernet. Select your first one if you have a wireless card, if you're in a laptop. And then second, I'm going to choose my NVIDIA Enforce networking controller, which is my Ethernet jack. Make sure your sound is enabled if you want that. You can mess around in here and set things up the way you want them. Then when you're all done there, hit OK. Now, you're going to want to get your operating system disk, and the only way I know how to do this is if it's bootable. So, uh, you might YouTube or Google and see if there's any other way you can install it if it's not bootable. Insert your disk in the drive, which I'm going to do now. When it gets up to speed, go ahead and select the virtual machine you want to start. Highlight it. When the disk is up to speed, you can hit start. I'm going to wait for mine to get here. And we go to start. Now it's going to open open this up and immediately take up all of that memory that you gave. And apparently that one's not going to work for me. So I'm going to close it and turn it off. Start it again. See how this works. I've had I've had a bit of trouble with this. I apologize for taking up valuable time. Okay, let's that disk again. Put it back in. 
highlight it and then click start. What it's doing is it's opening up pretty much a virtual BIOS here. Checking the Argon PXE boot agent version 2.0. And it's checking to make sure your hardware and whatnot is there. So hopefully this will work for me this time. Ah, here we go. Start for that wait. And it's going to start. There we go. Windows is loading files. Now this is a Windows Vista Windows Vista Home Premium C D that I, DVD that I'm using here. It does not have Service Pack 1 installed. I got this couple of couple months, maybe about a year ago. So pretty fast here. We'll wait for it to load the files. And now I think you guys can pretty much handle where it's going from here. Uh, you're just going to install the operating system like you would on the host computer. It's going to boot into the Vista setup guide here. So then go ahead and install the operating system. When you want to start it, go back to the virtual PC console, click on the one you want to start, and then hit start. When you want to close it, go up and it cl you can close the application like you would and then you can turn it off or save the state. I'm going to do either right now because that might mess it up. If you want it to take up full screen, hit the right alt key and enter. There's full screen. Now let's say you get your mouse stuck inside the virtual PC thing. Use your right alt key, hit that, now it's back, and then right alt and enter to put it back down to normal size. You can see that Windows Vista Home Basic is running. Uh, I don't know why I called it Home Basic, because I'm going to install Home Premium in here. But anyways, I don't want to get over my 10 minutes here, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.